guys welcome back to the canada info hub channel my name is wolo your girl wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba canada and i talk about life in canada and immigrating to canada so if you're new to this channel please subscribe and then give me something give me the thumbs up for all returning subscribers just you know what to do now destroy the like button scatter the button for me this is easter i mean okay yeah today is easter i'm doing this video easter day but by the time i upload it it will be easter monday so how are you enjoying your um long break i know some many people traveled if if i were to be in my home country now we'll travel you know what <laughs> we can't travel this period because of where we are we are stuck in our well you know canada they are actually very strict when it comes to this covid issue anyway so if you're new please just give me a thumbs up and all returning subscribers give me the thumbs up thank you so much for all of your support from my last video um i'm super grateful that i have so many people who are with me and supporting me and cheering me on and it is because of you this channel exists because i tell you the truth about immigration i tell you the truth about life in canada i don't know how to sugarcoat things if i was someone who was sugarcoating things then i don't think this channel would be as big as this it won't grow to this level but because i don't know how to lie about things and sugarcoat things that's why i have authentic original subscribers and viewers watching this channel well good readers to the scammer whoever you are you failed <laughs> okay so this video i'm doing this video to enlighten people about the processing times i observed something and i said i was going to share this because it's going to benefit someone out there and please share it with your friends and family especially those who think they can you know find a way around things without following the real like following the pathways that have been provided for everybody to follow right okay so um this topic is um can you actually come to canada without ielts yes it's possible there are ways of entering canada without ielts number one is coming as a student and that is if you are not applying through the student direct stream or the nigerian student express you don't need IELTS. You can actually enter Canada without IELTS. That's the first pathway of entering Canada. The second pathway is coming as a visitor. So if you come as a visitor, you don't actually need IELTS to apply for your visiting visa. But you should also know that the processing time now has changed because of COVID and they are not allowing visitors into Canada. Visitors are not allowed except for people who are coming on essential services and for family reunification so when i receive emails like can i come into canada now my sister is in canada blah 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 the family reunification they are looking at are people who um have their families living in canada let's say you have your you, you are in canada and you want your parents to visit yes your parents can actually get visas and visit you but if you want a sibling to visit you and your sibling doesn't have a visa yet it might be difficult for your sibling to get a visa this period because you have to prove why your sibling is actually coming to visit you are you celebrating something are you graduating from school are you having a baby and you don't have any parent or any help to help you take care of your children it is in that instance that they actually give that person a visiting visa other than that visitors are not allowed into canada this period so Anybody who wants to come in through this means, please take note. And if you don't know, the processing time for visiting visa from outside Canada is now 333 days for Nigerians. That means it's almost one year, like yeah, practically almost one year to process a visiting visa, which doesn't make any sense, you know. Okay, so that's the second way of entering Canada without IELTS. The third way of entering Canada without IELTS is searching for a job and when i mean searching for a job you're searching for a job that um has a labor market impact assessment accompanied with the job so of course that is the area a lot of people are falling victim of fraudsters because this is what they are advertising that we can get you jobs from outside canada you get the labor market impact assessment you get a work permit and enter canada but they don't tell you the kind of jobs that actually are being allowed to enter Canada during this period for work permit. There are specific jobs and these jobs must fall under the essential worker group. So for nurses, yes, they are allowed. For doctors, yes, they are allowed. For experts, yes, they are allowed. As long as the occupation falls under the essential occupation list, that occupation, they will allow them, they will give them work permit and they can enter Canada without needing IELTS. Agricultural workers, they are allowed to enter Canada 
without needing IELTS. So if anybody is deceiving you, telling you there's a pathway that doesn't need IELTS, please ask this person questions. Is it through visiting? Is it through studying? Or is it through working? And if it is through working, if the occupation does not fall under the essential occupation list, that means you cannot get a work permit to enter Canada without IELTS. Another thing I also want you to know is that the processing time for work permit is different from country to country. For instance, in India, the processing time for work permit for India is eight weeks. That means an Indian worker, foreign worker, can get his work permit within eight weeks. But the processing time for work permit from Nigeria is actually 52 weeks. That is almost one year. So where the Indian person will quickly enter Canada and start working, the Nigerian person is still waiting outside to get his or her work permit approved. You know, so these are the things that employers look at. They look at the processing time of these countries and say, oh, if someone from India is, uh, if the person can get his work permit within eight weeks, why should I hire somebody from Nigeria whose work permit will be approved in 52 weeks? It doesn't make any economical sense or any uh, operational sense to the person who's going to hire you. So these are the things, these are the issues. So anybody who is deceiving you, please tell the person that I said, not only me, it is also stated on the website that the processing time for work permit from Nigeria is 52 weeks, whereas the processing time for work permit from India is eight weeks. It will also shock you to know that the processing time for work permit from Ghana is eight weeks. So the employer will prefer to hire someone who is from Ghana because the processing time is shorter compared to hiring somebody from Nigeria where the processing time is 52 weeks. So anybody who is deceiving you, telling you that they can get you a job that can bring you into Canada without IELTS, please tell them that I said that the processing time is 52 weeks and no employer would want to hire someone whose processing time is 52 weeks, whereas he can hire another person whose country processing time is eight weeks. So these are the issues. I just wanted to put it out there so that you guys know. Even Kenya is eight weeks. Um, Congo is eight weeks. Only Nigeria is 52 weeks. And you wonder why? Because there are lots of people who are packaging rubbish and submitting to IROCC. And of course, they will take their time to investigate. And because they have to take their time to investigate these people, that is why they have to put the processing time to 52 weeks. It's not as if other people are not doing what they are doing. But when too much of it is from one particular country, they will not want to just give people visas like that. They want to investigate the authenticity of the job offer this person must have gotten. If the job offer is actually true, if the employer is actually legit and based in Canada and not a fake person, they will do all sorts of investigations. And these are the reasons why um, the work permit for Nigeria processing time is actually 52 weeks. Okay, so I have talked too much. I don't like talking too much in my videos. But anyway, I just decided to put it out there and also alert you and warn you. Don't go patronizing people who can tell you that they can get the job offers within one month, within two months. It's not possible, except it falls under an essential occupation. That is where the uh, the, the, the the exemption lies. Uh, essential occupations like agriculture, nursing, and information technology. This three group of industries, yes, the exemptions are there. But anything other than that, just tell the person the person is not telling you the truth. The person is lying. Fine. There's also another thing that people are now doing. They are now selling lists of employers that they feel can employ people. My people, please don't buy. Don't st stop buying all these lists. They sell them as much as $500, $600, $1,000 to unsuspecting people that you should buy lists of employers that are employing people. Why would you do that? I mean, why would you want to spend your money to do that, to buy a list of employers? How do you know if the employers even exist? You know, so please don't fall victim to these fraudsters. Don't fall victim to scammers. Run from them. Run from them. Don't waste your hard earned money. And um, I hope I've shared enough information. Please share this video to whoever is telling you that you can enter Canada without IELTS. Yes, you can. But these are the things around entering Canada without IELTS. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next outdoor video. I hope it is outdoor. Yes, I hope it will be outdoor. It will be outdoor. Anyway, thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.